Good morning guys, welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining today. Uh, I'm actually in the 09 Sportage that my mom has purchased. <laughs> I haven't even had it for a month and I'm already making a video about it for something that we need to fix. But this isn't anything that went wrong with the car. Everything on the car is in working order. As a matter of fact, we recently uh, got this door chuck replaced in the driver's side door, so the door now stays open and uh, it does not close on you with any little breath that you take. So right now it seems to be a pretty, pretty perfect vehicle with the exception of the tire pressure monitoring system, but we aren't gonna worry about that. No, what we're doing today is uh, we're going to fix something, we're gonna hopefully try to fix something that somebody did to the car uh, last night while my mom was at a baseball game. I haven't even had the car for an entire month yet. And my mom went to a baseball game and when she came out, somebody had keyed this back rear door over here and uh, they did a good job <laughs> they did a real good job so yeah she's really upset about it um, being that you know she likes to have nice things and of course this car while the car wasn't in perfect condition when uh, you know anytime you buy a used car you're gonna have scratches and and such but this car for the most part is in fantastic shape on the outside and that scratch there just really really screws up this car's beautiful exterior so uh, I took to YouTube because we all know I am a graduate of the University of YouTube <laughs> try to find a lot of my resources um, if I'm doing a car job that I may have never done before or I want to try something new but took to that and I I found a really interesting video from the famous Chris fix it and I'm going to try his method hopefully uh, this will work out nicely hopefully I'll be able to get this scratch out and uh, I mean if not I don't think I'm going to do any more damage to the door, but I mean, if the door has to be actually repainted and such, then might as well just try to do it this way first. What is it with this Chris Fixit dude? I mean, he has so much, he's like a genius when it comes to all of these automotive projects and stuff, but I watched this video and I was, I was amazed, so I'm, I'm really, really hoping that this tactic will work on this uh, door hopefully the scratch isn't all the way through the into the paint I really hope it's not into the paint but worst case scenario the scratch may still be there but I'm sure I'm sure maybe my technique here or Chris's technique will um, maybe at least lighten it up a little bit so I'm on my way to the store now, to the parts store, and we're going to be getting, uh, we, we need some sandpaper, I need to buy some uh, polishing compound, and I need to buy actual paste wax. It's been a long time since I've used paste wax. Um, I probably should apply the paste wax to my Escape and the Fiesta and, and such. Because uh, I use the spray wax every time I wash my car. I use the wax or the wet and dry wax. And uh, it seems to put a nice coat on your car. And I use it every time. So my car constantly has that, that protectant. But nothing obviously is as good as the actual paste wax. Which will last like maybe a year or two. But the last time I tried waxing a car, I ended up in the hospital. Turns out I kind of overworked myself in a in a bit of a hurry because I had to work that night and I dehydrated myself and my kidney shut down and I had a viral infection. It just it really really screwed me up. Always kind of been afraid to wax <laughs> ever since then. 
Um, but we're just doing the door, so I think I can handle the door. So anyway, I'm almost at the, the parts store, and uh, I'll get back to you guys here in a bit. It's amazing, my mom hasn't even driven the car 300 miles yet. Already gotta deal with this BS. So, here it is. Well, the lighting's kinda bad, but it's pretty decent scratch. I don't know if the camera's picking it up because I can't see it on the screen. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's a good one. So even the guy at the uh, at the, the guy at the part store looked at it. He came out and looked at it, and he said it's probably not in the paint. It's most likely clear coat stuff. So he said there might be a couple of deep spots. Looks like they stopped here and right where they started feels really deep. So those two marks may possibly remain, but the rest of this hopefully will either completely go away or will look a lot better. Started off by buying a brand new pack of microfiber towels. I have some, but they're not clean right now. Oops. We got grit sandpaper. We got 5,000 grit sandpaper. We got our rubbing compound, followed by our polishing compound. And last but not least, our paste wax. All of this, including the towels, uh, were about $45. What we're also going to need is this spray bottle that I put some car wash solution in because we're just going to have to clean off the door most of the area that we're going to be sanding. And a sponge, a kitchen sponge, which I think I have in the house, so I'll have to go grab the kitchen sponge. That's going to help us with the uh, sanding portion. So let's get the tripod and uh, set the camera up. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so I think that's probably going to be the best, the best angle that I'm going to give to you guys. I know it's a light-colored car. I don't really think there's, yeah, it's, unless you're seeing it in person, it's kind of difficult to really see where it is but I think it's coming out now on the camera yeah that thing right there all right so the first thing we're going to do is take our clean microfiber towel rip off the tag and now I'm going to apply the soapy water so we can clean the door Okay, so the door is clean. There was one thing that I forgot to grab and I gotta run back upstairs and get it. We need masking tape or painter's tape or some sort of tape. Okay, got our tape. Here's, here's our scratch, if it's not showing up on the camera, right there. So this is where it's going to start to get good. Here we have our typical kitchen sponge. And our 3000 grit sandpaper. It's actually really soft. <laughs> Obviously with sandpaper, the higher the number, the softer the sandpaper is. So we're going to start off with this, and I'm just going to take my kitchen sponge and I'm just going to fold the sandpaper over top of it like this. We're going to spray the door 
and we're going to spray the some of the sandpaper with our soapy water and then we're going to start trying to rub away the scratch the first part of the scratch at the surface if all goes well by the time we're done marking all of this up we shouldn't be able to see this scratch at all I can see it lighting up in, in certain spots. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to do it with the 3000 a little longer. I can see some spots where it's starting to lighten up, um, which are probably the lighter strokes of the key, I guess. So uh, we scrubbed and we scrubbed and we scrubbed with the uh, 3000 grit. I'm going to wipe off the residue. And yeah. Well, the good news is it looks like. A lot of the scratches come out, but I probably went through the clear coat. That's not cool. I mean, you can see where the deeper gashes of this uh, scratch were going. I probably just screwed that up. But, You know, if worse come, came to worse, I had a feeling, you know, the door may have had to have been repainted or retouched up in this area anyway, but... Ah, darn it. Well, I'm not too happy about it. But it looks like it really did thin out quite a bit. Maybe if we, when we finish doing all this, maybe that'll, maybe that'll be covered up. If not, then, like I said, we'll just have to take care of that in, in, the, in the near future. But I think that's probably going to be the best that I can do it as far as the actual scratch. Uh, it may have been really deep in, uh, in, in those various spots there. What I'm going to do now is we're going to expand our sanding area. I'm going to get some new tape because this tape's not really going to stick that well, I don't think. But we're going to move this tape like up here a little bit. We're going to move this tape down here toward the bottom. And then we're going to sand with the 5000 grit. We're just going to go like this within this area. I just got done doing the 5000 grit. I'm gonna wipe this all off and just kind of see how it looks. You can see how it's hazy and dull. But I think this is probably going to be as much as I can do. <sighs> Darn it, that, I'm really, really bummed out about that. I really hope that this will take care of it. If not, then, I mean the door, it might still not be perfect anyway. Um, it definitely cut a lot of the scratch out. These other pieces here, with the exception of this, it's all deep, I think. So, uh, now we're supposed to do our rubbing compound, and we're going to basically get a new rag. 
from our pile here. We'll take the tag off here in a second. And then we're gonna dip it into our rubbing compound and rub that area to uh, <coughs> kind of cut into a little more, I guess, of the scratches. Some of these other little areas that we couldn't get. We, we don't need this anymore. Okay, well the rubbing compel was on and uh, I honestly don't know if it turned out any different. I don't know. I don't think there's much else I can do. I think it's, I think it was a little too deep. <clears throat> well, we're gonna polish now. Uh, I'm gonna wipe off the leftover uh, rubbing compound. shines back in the paint. So I think the polish has done its job. It doesn't look hazy anymore. We'll add the wax for our final our final protectant. <music> Honestly, other than the spot, it did manage to cut out cut out a lot of the stuff over here, a lot of the scratch over here, but these gashes were were pretty bad. So uh, I gotta clean up the rest of the door and I guess that's gonna be it, unfortunately. I'm I can't believe that happened. I'm so bummed out by that. Well, when she saw the car, she was uh, she was actually quite pleased with it. <laughs> she didn't really expect as much of the scratch to be out as as it was. Um, so she was actually very very appreciative that the scratch, uh, you know, mo there was quite a bit of scratch that did end up coming out with the final, you know, waxing and such. Um, and of course, you know, we're discouraged about the clear coat issue, but we're going to work on, on getting that taken care of. And uh, I know a couple of different people who, who have body shops, and I'm, I'll just see what the best method is. I may even try to find another video on YouTube. <laughs> to see if there's any way to apply clear coat to just, you know, one portion of the, the, the panel rather than redoing the entire door, whether that's possible or not, and I'm, I'm gonna say it's pretty impossible, but I guess it doesn't hurt to look, right? But for the most part, you know, I kind of had a feeling the door was gonna have to be redone. Um, I just did not think that that scratch was as as deep as as it was. If I if I had realized that, I probably wouldn't have even really attacked it and made it worse. But no, she she was she was quite pleased with it uh, for the time being. So I guess we'll just move on from from this for now, and uh, 
I'll see what happens as far as getting pricing for a repaint or just a refinish in that spot. We'll see. We'll just see what we can do. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. Please buy the merchandise. Uh, I honestly haven't had many sales uh, at all when it comes to the merchandise, and I thought for sure uh, people would have been ordering them by now. They've been out for a while, and I've been advertising it on every vlog, and uh, nobody wants to buy the merch. I'm really surprised. But it's there if you want it, so check it out. That's all I've got for you guys today, so thanks for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.